Thanks for joining us tonight as we near the end of July. More area school districts are deciding how the school year will start off. Of those plans, Verona is one of the only districts to approve a plan where students are split between in-person and virtual. Our Gabriella Becerra joins us live to share what parents think of this new plan. Gabby? Eric and Charlotte, although the original recommendation didn't have K through second graders going back into the classroom, some parents say they're relieved that their kids are going to get face to face instruction this fall. It was a disaster. <laughs> Chanel Clark says the quick shift to virtual learning last spring didn't work well for her seven year old son. My child was in first grade at the time and he's also on the spectrum. So sitting and having that kind of limited instruction didn't work for him. So Clark says she was relieved when the Verona School Board approved a plan that would send her soon to be second grader back into the classroom. It's really complicated, but I'm glad that my child will be able to get face to face support. Clark's son is currently enrolled in Verona's in person summer school this week. It's actually the happiest I've seen him again since March when school closed. He really thrives on that routine and he really needs his social emotional needs supported. A program she says is a good indicator at what she thinks the new routine will look like in the fall. They're all using their airplane arms. Everybody is masked, um, supporting the children in their needs. So I think a half day is a reasonable solution for what they're trying to do. And while Clark recognizes that one plan won't work for everyone, she's confident that kids will comprehend the new normal. I know that if someone like my son can adapt really well to this, typically developing children are going to thrive with being able to get some of that face-to-face -face instruction. News 3 Now is tracking district plans as they're being decided, and we'll have a list of those plans on our website, channel3000.com.